What's up everybody? My name is Brad and welcome back to the channel. Today's a perfect day to talk about a book, so let's do a book review. And today I want to discuss Brand New Dark by Bo Johnson. I believe this was published by Down and Out Books, but it did come out earlier this year. Now on the channel, most of the time I talk about horror. Now this book, it is not horror, though it is very dark, and it does have some horrific depictions of violence, pain, death, torture, mutilation, those kind of things. Um, it's more crime fiction, it's more of a revenge tale, uh, but I still think horror fans will really enjoy this one based on the darkness contained within the pages. Uh, this is my first experience ever reading anything by Bo Johnson. Uh, he's got some other books out there in the world, and if I'm not mistaken, I believe all of his books are short story collections. Uh, the reason I say that is because this book is no different. This one's a short story collection as well. Uh, but his, in his other books, he's had stories here and there about sort of this main character that he's crafted, that he's created, a character and a man by the name of Bishop Ryder. Now, what's different about this collection is all these stories are about Bishop Ryder. And I found that to be unique and different, at least for my reading experiences. I've never read a short story collection before uh, where all the stories were so interconnected and interwoven together like this one. Um, it's basically uh, chronicling the life of Bishop Ryder from the time we meet him, the time he's sort of becoming this uh, monstrous man, this murder machine that he is, up until sort of the end of his life and then sort of all of his dirty deeds in between. Even though this is a short story collection, it feels more like sort of a novel, but each short story is sort of a little vignette, a little piece a little moment in time of Bishop Ryder's life where we as the reader sort of get to bear witness to the people, places, and events that have molded him, that have formed him into this killing machine of a man that he is. So Bishop Ryder, he is a sort of a Punisher type character, a sort of a Dexter kind of character if you've seen the TV show Dexter, uh, someone who's taking justice into his own hands. And he haunts this world, he inhabits this world, it is dark, it's sleazy, it's gritty, it's grimy, it's crime infested. And through some of the stories, it almost feels like people don't know, people don't believe that he really exists. He's almost this myth, sort of this urban legend, uh, that's this spectral shadow that's lurking through the darkness, dealing out these heaping doses of vigilante justice upon the absolute bottom of the barrel, you know, scum and villainy of the world. Um, he's hunting down, you know, your pedophiles, your rapists, your perverts. It's sort of his mission to eradicate those types of people, not only out of the city, but sort of off the face of the planet and he is a man that is fueled by this all-consuming revenge he is out for revenge against anyone associated with the death of his mother and the death of his sister those two events were sort of the catalyst that set him on this sort of crash course into vengeance turning him into uh, this killing machine that he has become he's a very interesting character he's a very nuanced character uh, this is not a world where it's purely good purely evil uh, it's morally gray. Uh, Bishop Ryder is definitely a morally gray character. For me, I think those are the most interesting characters of all, where he seems to be the good guy, he seems to be the hero, but he's out there torturing people, he's out there killing people. So is he really a good guy that's just sort of cleaning up the trash of the world, or is he a bad guy that's cleaning up the filth of even worse men? You know, this uh, collection, these stories, sort of has those, those moral dilemmas in there. Yes, he's taking out horrible people, but he's also committing sins of his own. So it's that, that morally gray area, which I really enjoy in characters like this. I wanted to talk about the violence here in the book because I really enjoy Bo's depictions of violence. He writes really great violence. And saying that out loud, that sounds kind of creepy, saying how much I enjoyed the violence. Um, if you're sort of squeamish, this might not be the book for you. I wouldn't go so far as to call this extreme violence by any stretch of the imagination. It's very real. It's very grounded in reality type violence. Uh, there's nothing super outlandish, nothing over the top. Uh, but there are bodies being burned, teeth being pulled out, skin being flayed, body parts being chopped off. You know, and through all this pain and torture and violence, uh, Bishop Ryder, he's trying to extract information. He's trying to get that one other name that'll lead him a little bit farther along the spider web. Sort of this intricate network of corruption and sex trafficking and just horrible, heinous people that he's trying to uh, get rid of, eliminate. He sort of doesn't trust the justice system to do it because people are corrupt. Palms can be greased, money talks. So he's taking justice into his own hands where people are not going to have that chance to escape, to get out of it. And they can either take the easy way out, give him another name in the chain so he can continue on dealing out justice, or they can take the hard way. And he's going to get his answers one way or another, whether you like it or not. And I just really, 
enjoyed it all. Very, again, very much so like Punisher um, type character dealing out justice. Brand New Dark by Bo Johnson is a tour de force in how to write painful to read, raw and gritty violence. Just like his character Bishop Ryder, Johnson, he pulls no punches, he takes no names while executing, no pun intended, these tales with sharp, clean, and at times witty prose that brought great moments of levity in contrast to the darkness and brutality found in these stories. I'm a fan of Bo Johnson. I'm new to his work, but I'm definitely a fan. I will definitely be coming back for more. Uh, this is a short story collection, so I do want to go over each story really quick. I'll give you the title and a brief little summary so you can sort of get a taste as to what you might be in for while reading this collection. Coming Home. Retribution for the Sins of the Past. Time to Burn Them All. Slick Ribbon. When exterminating vermin, you want to make sure you get the whole nest. Heads will roll in this one. Nailed. Serving up justice crucifixion style. Uh, this story gave some information, some backstory about some other characters and how they relate to Bishop Ryder, and I really appreciated that. The Auctioneer. Not the kind of things you normally bid on at an auction. Men of the Cloth. Missing lambs, dirty men, and some good old-fashioned neck snapping. The struggle continues. Even when someone turns snitch, they can't avoid the hammer of justice. Mama Westermoreland's son. Selling bootleg snuff tape films is a new kind of low, and welcome to the kill box. New toys. This one was a bit of Frankenstein's monster mixed with some Silence of the Lamb vibes. Late to the game. There's no statute of limitations for one's desire for revenge. Time does not always heal all wounds. For Batista, patience is a virtue and the pigs are hungry, always. It never changes. Necrophilia, corrupt surgeons, organ blight market, and some shark bait. Bows in, bows out. The taste of your own medicine can be awfully bitter. Some people should give credence to the saying, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Before the storm, things as they were before, those things started to fall apart. Foster parents taking advantage of the system and the kids that we're supposed to care for and protect. Upstanding citizens. Anyone can have a secret life. The good neighbor, the sports coach, the teacher, the person with that number one mom or dad mug. Some citizens just aren't very upstanding at all. Judgment from above. You've probably heard those song lyrics, Jesus take the wheel. Well, sometimes he doesn't take that wheel and he leaves people to catch a face full of concrete at maximum velocity. Precast and reinforced. No one gets off that easily. If at first you don't succeed, try and try again. Mission bound, pot committed. From greasy mechanics to slick bankers, Bishop Ryder knows how to send a message. You got to go all in. Long past gone. Mistakes from the past come back to haunt. Don't forget that dead men tell no tales. The beginning of the end. Just like the title of the story says, this is the beginning of the end. Of better days, are they really better, since past. Of inevitable betrayal along the horizon. Greater than the sum of my parts. The big machine eats and it is never satiated. Just like the ball of revenge burning away within Bishop Ryder. Call me Ishmael. When you stack up as many bodies as Bishop Ryder has, eventually people take notice. Some people may even decide to come after you. You may even turn into someone's white whale. Days of body parts passed. The team gets smaller, it's reduced by a head. The man responsible gets smaller piece by piece, inch by inch as the months go by. Coda, a regaling of events from the beginning when this all started to how we ended up here in this particular basement at this particular moment in time. The bottom of things. When you get to the end, to the bottom of things, you can't go back for a do-over. What's done is done and the things you've done and the things you've seen, those are now part of you. For better or for worse. And the final story, Old Man Rider. The one that got away. The one that flew under the radar. A person whose existence was unknown until now. It's years later, but revenge still waits. Revenge doesn't forget. A man named Proctor. No relation, I promise. Maybe thinks he's in the free and clear now, but maybe he cashed that check a bit too soon. And that's it. Those are all the stories found within A Brand New Dark by Bo Johnson. This has been my review. I ended up giving it four stars. I truly enjoyed it. It was different. It was unique. Uh, some crime fiction stuff I don't usually read, but I had a lot of fun with it. I suggest you check it out. But well, that's all I have for you guys today. So thank you for spending your time with me. Again, my name is Brad, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.